Blazers win to go 35 and 38 on the year, and they now tie Denver. Denver got wiped out of home to the Pelicans on Sunday, setting up a real battle royale Tuesday in Portland at the Moda. The Blazers, remember, leading in the season series two games to one against the Nuggets. This would be a big one on Tuesday, and it was set up because the Blazers took care of business last night against Minnesota, and then on this Sunday here in Los Angeles against the Lakers. They've now won seven in a row in the second of back-to-back the Blazers. Yeah, they, they're just a different team. You know, we, we talked about it during the broadcast. This is a different team than earlier on in the year. The defense has improved uh, dramatically. Noah Vonley's play, I mean, he has just upgraded the Blazers' lineup. Alfred Camino's been better ever since coming off of the bench. Yusuf Nurkic clogging things up down low, and you still have one of the most dynamic backcourts in the NBA. It's all coming together to the point where, Kevin, you, you come out against the Lakers today, you don't shoot well from the field and you're still able to keep a sizable lead throughout that entire time. I think that just speaks to this team being able to make winning plays. And now, as you alluded to, you have, in my opinion, the biggest game of the year coming up against the Denver Nuggets. Up until this point, this is the oh, biggest sure. game. It is a not a must win because must wins is only when you can be eliminated by calculations. But this one is as close to that as I think possible, and I think the Blazers will approach it that way. 11 and 3 month of March and the Blazers are doing everything right. Damian Lillard leads the way with 22. Allen Crabb 18 off the bench. Sparkling shooting. 4 of 8 for Crabb. Noah Vonley 14 boards. A career high as they head into Tuesday's matchup with Denver. We'll have it for you on CSN. Join us.